As the group transfers from Moordale Secondary School to Cavendish College, Sex Education Season 4 is full of upheaval. This does not imply, however, that the changes are all positive. Otis, Eric, Amy, and the gang all have a lot of personal difficulties on their plates in addition to adjusting to their new school, and that's before what happens at the sex clinic. Do viewers' questions remain unanswered after the Netflix season finale? Here is a description of Sex Education Season 4's climax. Do Maeve and Otis get together in the last episode of Sex Education Season 4? No. Maeve and Otis agree to call it quits in the Season 4 finale as Maeve heads back to America. Long-distance relationships gradually win the upper hand over both Maeve and Otis despite the pair's season beginning on the more difficult side. While Maeve is having a difficult time maintaining her relationship with Otis while adjusting to a new environment, Tyrone, who Maeve spends a lot of time with on her course, sparks Otis' jealousy. Maeve is dragged back to Mordale by a family loss halfway through this series. She is understandably absorbed by her bereavement, yet the pair has the chance to spend time together properly. Things swiftly unravel, however, as Otis admits that while Maeve was away, he shared a bed with his ex-girlfriend Ruby. From that point on, Otis in particular struggles greatly with intimacy as he tries to overcome his prior problems. The conflict between Jean and Otis in the season finale takes place when Jean admits that Maeve's choice to return to the US was influenced by her after Maeve questioned her own talents. After one last night of love before Maeve departs, the couple decides that parting up is in their best interests. Otis discovers a note from Maeve on his bed in the film's epilogue, in which she promises to always carry a little bit of him in her heart. Who is the father of Joy? Dan, a local banker, is the father of Jean's newborn Joy. Dan doesn't appear to be the type of person who would cause trouble at first impression. He first appears in season 4 as a potential love interest for Joanna, Jean's younger sister. Dan shows a desire to be married as soon as possible throughout the couple's dates. Dan falls in love with Joanna the moment she brings Joy to one of their dates since she has no other alternatives for daycare. The complexity is not apparent until Joanna and Jean run across Dan in a public setting. Joanna approaches Jean while she is hiding and introduces Dan, the person she has been dating, to Jean. Despite only being roughly 95% certain that she is correct, Jean responds that Dan is Joy's father. Joanna finally breaks her commitment to Jean and sleeps with Dan after promising not to see him again. In the season finale, everything comes to a head when Jean and Joanna finally get along after clearing up all of their previous disagreements. Dan subsequently shows up to spend time with Joy and Jean properly, and Joanna reveals that she was turned off by him due of his peculiar feet. Eric is he baptized? No. In the season finale, Eric is set to undergo baptism but he chooses not to. Season 4 of Eric's journey is devoted to his issues with religion. Eric is still under pressure from his family to get baptized, which leaves him with a need to please and a persistent moral quandary. Eric decides to follow through with it after seeing the first two-thirds of the series. In the penultimate episode, his church notifies him that they will not take donations from a fundraiser he is co-organizing in order to keep the food kitchen, which causes this to alter. Before being baptized in the season finale, Eric gets up to speak to the assembly. He emphasizes that he wants to live his life as his true self, which includes being both an openly homosexual guy and a Christian. Except for his mother, who claims to love him for who he is, no one in the church accepts him. Later, churchgoers show up at the event to make apologies, saying they want to start a candid conversation about how they can be more welcoming. As the evening wears on, Eric's desire to become a preacher becomes clear. What happens to Cavendish College's other students? The same can be said for Adam, when his parents Michael and Maureen reconcile, while Otis and his family settle into their newly found comfortable dysfunction. After coming out as asexual, O ultimately makes peace with Ruby and resumes her role as the school sex therapist. The fundraiser is when Ruby finally befriends the coven. After they disappear for the first part of the season finale, all revenues are used to pay for Cal's top surgery rather than supporting the soup kitchen. Jackson and Eric reassure Cal and the others that things will improve when they express how alienated they feel. Jackson ultimately learns the truth about his father, which causes him to become more attached to his mother's. Additionally, he aids Vive in ending her controlling relationship with Beau, despite Vive's request that he never get in touch with her again. After receiving Maeve's blessing, Amy and Isaac start to pursue a love connection. At the same time, Amy's newfound love of photography helps her get over the pain of the sexual attack. While Aisha can rely on BSL interpreters who are well-established at Cavendish, Roman and Abby revive their sexual connection. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.